I'm Owen Lawler, and welcome to the Pilsen neighborhood in Chicago. Considered by many as the gallery neighborhood for its large number of murals spread throughout the area. Come on, let's go take a look at some of these great murals. Our starting point is at the corner of Wood Street and Cullerton Street. This mural has no name, but it is the most recently painted in the area, finished about a month ago. The mural is more about cultural and religious connotations. It represents the faith of Mexican people towards the Virgin of Guadalupe. This is another new mural in the area. It is located on Wood Street by the intersection of Cermak Road. The people often refer to it as the Selena mural. For those who don't know who Selena was, she was a young Mexican-American singer from Texas who became very famous within the Latino community in the early 90s. Unfortunately, she was killed by her own assistant in 1995 when she was only 23 years old. At the beginning of its creation, the people of the area were very enthusiastic about it and various TV stations covered the progress of the work. It was common to see people congregating around and taking pictures. All of a sudden, the artist left, and we don't really know if the mural is considered finished or not. The last parts of it don't look as detailed as the first ones did. This mural was painted about 20 years ago. At this mural, one can see some Mexican celebrities, starting with singer-songwriters Joan Sebastián on his horse and Ramón Ayala on the south part of the mural, also iconic Mexican women on the north part. Actresses, singers, folkloric dancers, Writers and heralds. Even Jesus. Now we're at Hector Duarte's house and studio. This mural is special because it is painted on three sides of the house. It wraps around the front, back, and side. It's located on the corners of Wolcott and Cullerton. It was painted by Hector Duarte himself. He is one of the most celebrated artists in the community. He covered his whole house with his work and named the mural Gulliver in Wonderland. If I'm not wrong, the character being tied up represents struggle, while the quarter crops represent his Mexican nationality. In conjunction, the struggle of the immigrants. I read this before. I personally like the Chicago skyline underneath his leg. I also find the big feet on the garage door and alley very interesting. Along with the many murals you find in this neighborhood, Pilsen also hosts the National Mexican Fine Arts Museum, a free ticket museum located just one block north of Duarte's studio. Another good reason to visit Pilsen is that the neighborhood ranks number 10 on the list of the world's coolest neighborhoods, according to Time Out and